Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more TG 2019. And we have a special course for you today. We have another course by Mr. Arctic Fury himself. And this one is called Umbria Golf Club, Italy. So everything's on default. <clears throat> the fairways are firm, the greens are firm. The green speed is a medium fast. And we're gonna be playing off the gold tees at 7,327 yards. Now, we're going to keep it on pin set number one. I've seen a couple of screenshots. I've not been into it yet, so... But you know you're going to get something special with an Arctic Fury course, so here we go. Beautiful looking opening hole. Great view off the tee. Lovely plan, as expected. Guy is a, a blooming artist. Really is. And people are amazed how he kind of does these kind of courses, because not everybody can has got this sort of detail, the, the eye for the detail that he does. Okay, let's go into the old sky cam and we shall let's have a look at the plot first shall we so it looks like we're on top of a sort of big mountainous area okay as usual we've got quite a few buildings around and a lot of water features the water features um arctic fury does are second to none uh, i don't think anybody can do water features like he does well not many people can do actually courses the way he does so let's come down and have a little look at the clubhouse down here and again, beautiful little water feature. The plant, absolutely superb. I've always said it, it should be a landscape gardener, this guy. Honestly. Okay, love the sort of winding path. Just going up there. This is something that HB needs to sort out as well. Um, the way the, the fences stick together, they need to sort of go up in line with the paths and stuff like that, instead of this little, sort of step, step, step. Uh, it really sort of takes away from kind of stuff the way HP have implemented that. That really needs, I hope that gets sorted for the um, PGA Tour 2K21. Okay, nice looking clubhouse. Oh, that's beautiful, look at that. I wonder if that's the 18th, no, that's the 5th, I thought it might be the 18th there. Very nice. Very immaculate, very clean looking. Okay, let's, um, oh, we've got like a little vineyard over here in somebody's back garden. And these little lovely sort of trees there as well, just sort of frame it really nice. Okay, you got a sort of windmill over there. So let's head down here, let's go up this way. Follow this path up here, see what we can see. There you go, you've got the Italian flag there. It'll look better from this side, I'd imagine. Let's have a look. There you go. Yep. And you've got the sheep just out there grazing. I love the way they've done the colours as well through this long wispy grasses. Okay, what else do we have? There's a windmill here. And you've got some hill there, some houses on the edge of the hills there. Oh, look at that. Up there in the hills, with this sort of big sort of castle. Okay, let's head down here. And we have another lovely looking water feature. I mean, look at that plant. I love the willow trees. I'm not a big fan of these willow trees, but the way he's got them implemented, um, sort of mixed in with other trees and that here. It looks pretty nice. Let's take a little short pan round here. Okay, love the plant. That is very nicely done. And look at that. Beautifully done. And you've got some more vineyards there. And I like the way this the first person I've ever seen doing this was like was Arctic Fury. A lot of people have actually sort of well, not copied but um used it as well. You see the vineyard the, the, the vines coming through the, the house there. Very nice. We've got down here. So this looks like little shops and stuff down here. And again, look at the plant boxes at the top of the house there as well. Beautiful. And the window boxes. Very nicely done. Ah, what a job. Cracking job. I can't wait to play this. Oh, look at that. Like a sunken green. Let's have a little look at this here. Beautiful done. Beautifully done. 
and the contours there as well. What it says here is, welcome to beautiful Italy. Enjoy your round on this majestic 18 hole course. In order to score, you must take advantage of the short par fives and take extra extreme caution with the long par fours. Keep the ball below the hole as the greens can get undulating in certain spots. See you on the course. Very nicely done. It's a thing with an Arctic Fury course. There's so much to see and there's probably quite a lot you'll miss as well. Okay, we'll go down here. Oh, it looks like a little shot of Venice there, doesn't it? Like the sort of waterway. But the, the boat's there as well. Oh, he's got a pizza hut, look. <laughs> that is really nice. Bloody hell, look at that. He's done a cracking job. It even looks like a proper writing as well. Look at this. And he's got the big poles there that you see in Venice as well. Oh, he needs a gondola. That was beautiful. Beautifully done. I actually went to Venice um, a few years back. I actually uh, went to Rome and Venice. I actually proposed to my wife at the Trevi Fountain. I've been with her for over 20 years, but I thought... Uh, better better do it <laughs> sooner than later. Well, I can't say sooner because it took over 20 years, but oh, this is absolutely beautiful. And Rome and uh, Venice, I didn't really fancy Venice because I heard s stories about smell and because of the water and stuff like that, but my God, it was absolutely beautiful. There's a little island we went to as well. Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Just, oh, just um, about a couple of miles away from Venice. You have to take the boat to it. Oh, it was beautiful. Little. Lido, or Lido, it was called. That's what it was. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Water feature again. Stunning. And there's that green kind of water as well. And I sort of, sort of figured out how they did this. It's like the lily pads. They sort of like really, really enlarged them and then sunk them into the water. So you get that green sort of swampy look to it. Or the, the, the algae. So we'll look to it. As many people up here have, um, when I've done a, an Arctic Fury course, have actually said, uh, does he have like on PC, do you have more of a plant meter on PC than you do on consoles? No, they're exact same. But I don't know how he does it though. I mean, just look at the amount of grasses and bushes and trees and plants. The way he does it is just um, stunning. Okay, let's have a little look over here. Another lovely little water feature. Lovely rock work as well. Okay, is there anything we have missed? No doubt there is, because there's so much to see, as I said, on an Arctic Fury course. Right, was that the first, I think it was? Yeah, that's the first. Let's go down here. I mean, look at this rock work as well. And again, we love the plant, the grasses and the plants. Oh, there's a house up there as well. Look at that. Right up there in the big sort of rocky area. Beautiful. Okay. Right. That's the pizza area down there. I just want to see if there's anything else that I might have missed. Because I'm dying to get on this course and give it a play. That looks beautiful. Look at that hilltop, that hilltop over there. And as I, as I said earlier, I mean, look at the amount of grasses and bushes and all that that he's got actually planted there. It's a massive amount of um, planting there. Look at that. And people are right to, to wonder how the hell does he do this? That is absolutely unreal. The amount of grasses and <laughs> little bushes and stuff that he gets. Oh, that's nice as well. A little fenced area there, a little fence area around the hill. Beautifully done. Right, let's have a quick look, see if there's anything else. There's the windmill that we've seen. All right, we've seen that water feature there as well. I think we've probably seen near enough everything. Oh, hold on, what's this down here? This bit down here. Let's go down and follow the cart path around to it, shall we? Right, there we go. Beautiful. And you got some cows there as well. 
And again, absolutely fantastic rockwork. I mean, look at the plant on the bank here. Now, this is like um, 10 o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning, so uh, I do apologize if you hear any noise. I usually do mine at like 2, 3 in the morning, but I've seen they dropped this. I've seen a few screenshots on Twitter though, over the week that I knew he was going to drop one soon, and he dropped it. Must have been bloody early. That is absolutely fantastic. A nice sort of retaining wall going around there as well. Okay, so I think we have seen everything. Now, I haven't took a screenshot from my thumbnail because I'm going to use his. <laughs> I might as well. He sort of frames them nice and he does... Um, the way he does his thumbnails as well is very nicely done. I mean, look, hey, again, the, the colours, the rocks, the bushes, the grasses are absolutely fantastic the way he does the, his planting. Okay, I think we have seen everything. The windmill, the little water features, a little gazebo down here as well. Look at this. All these little areas just off the course that a lot of people won't see. That's what I'm trying to show you, because I know they, they, like these guys on the console, and it's really hard to sort of control the, the camera. So I'm trying to give you a really good look at the, the sort of stuff that this guy does. It's absolutely bloody amazing. Okay, right. I think we have seen everything. There's the vineyards, small vineyards there. And again, just the plant around the, the green complexes and stuff like that. I love these little trees here. I don't know where they are. Are they spruce or something like that? Really does look nice the way he's done them. There's that hill with a rock. The, the house on the rock. <coughs> right, I do think we have seen almost everything. So we're going to get on to the first tee. Oh, a little bit of water feature down here. As I said, there's just so much to see on one of his courses. It's so easy to miss stuff. Right, that's back to the clubhouse. So, yep. Right, I think it's about time we got started, don't you? <laughs> okay, let's get on to the tee, because I am can't wait to play this. Really looking forward to it. Okay, so here we go. Umbria Golf Club, Italy, by Mr. Arctic Fury. Hole 1, 488 yards, par 4. As I said, it only dropped a couple of hours ago, so we don't have any stroke index yet. Now, we're downhill here, so we should be able to clear. Now, is that going to slope to the right? I don't want to hit it here, because it might slope off. So I'm going to aim it down here, and kind of hope it slopes to the right, uh, to the left when it hits. Oh, shit! No! Now that was not me. But that was one of HB's famous random bad shots. Okay, what we got here? 134, 13 up. So it's playing around about 138. 74, 81% lie. So we're going to probably drop up, knock it up two clubs, I think. That should be enough, I reckon. Okay, we hit a fast downswing, so hopefully that's going to help us. That's not too bad. Just off the front edge of the green there. Okay, well, stop. Stop, 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 stop. I want it to stop so we can have a little chip instead of a flop shot. Oh, it's going to keep going. Ah, there we go, so it stopped. Hopefully we get a little chip shot here. Okay. Oh, only 9% power on that. Oh, I don't want to start off with a bogey. Okay, what have we got here? 163, 15 feet, 5 inches up. So it's not too bad. Come on. Oh, nice. Start off with a par. That's a good save, I suppose. Okay, hole 249 yards, par 3. Beautiful. I love the, the rock work there. It just sort of frames the, the, the view really, really well. Beautiful. Right. Okay, well, we've got 150, 46 down. So that's playing around about 135-ish. 
So we'll go with the 136 and put a tiny touch of loft on it. Okay, nice strike. Now hopefully my distance is right. Oh yes, absolutely spot on. Now we'll pick up the birdie here. Okay, hole three, 500 and uh, two yards, par four. So quite a lengthy par four here, but we are doing well hitting sort of downhill, which is going to add a little bit of more distance to it. Now, do we go down this side? Or do we go this side? I think this side is probably going to give us a better angle into the green, especially with that bit of wind that we've got right in our face. So it's going to put us on the same level, I think. Oh, fast again, but I did aim quite a bit over to the right, so that should be okay. Beautiful. Middle of the fairway. Give me one second. Okay, what have we got here? 197, 16 up, so it's playing around about 202. And we are 203 with a four iron. We'll put a bit of loft on it. That wind should help us a little bit as well now. A bit of a slope. Okay, it's turning nice, but it still might be a bit long though. Oh no, just missed the green. It's actually a little bit short. So that's going to leave a nice little chip. Hard to hit that, only 75%. That was not a good swing. Okay, seven feet. We'll pick up the par. Okay, hole four, 498 yards, par four. Again, the, the plant, the amount of um, sort of grasses and bushes that you put down along with the trees and that as well. Phenomenal. Okay, the fairway splits in two here. Uh, it looks like we're going a little bit uphill with the second shot, the approach shot. That uh, should be fine to just smash the driver down here. You can just see the butterflies. Oh, I just smacked my mic there. Sorry about that. To the left hand side of me there. Oh, that's nice. Almost a slow though. That first shot in the first hole got me a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm trying to slow my swing down just a little touch. Uh, you got a nice run on the fairway there as well. 329 yard drive. K160, 38 up, so it's playing on about 173. 172, but we'll put some loft on that. We've got a little bit of wind there to help as well. Oh, fast back swing. Okay, that's going to leave us a bit of a downhill, I think. It did say B, and below the hole. Okay, it's not too bad though, 24 feet, 5 inches down. Oh, that's looking good. Oh yes, get in now. Nice putt. Okay, hole 5, 561 yards, par 5. Beautiful looking par 5. I mean, oh, the, the, the way the, the trees just frame the, the fairway as well. Absolutely beautiful hole. Yeah, you've got that little water feature just below the green there with the rock work around it. Yep, guy's an artist. <laughs> I can't wait to see what he does with um, PGA Tour 2K21. Oh, nice drive. Boom, boom. Let me just have a little drink in my iron brew. I'm just going to mute the mic for a sec.
Okay. Now, the reason why I'm muting my mic there, I used to drink out of a cup, <clears throat> but I've just got it in a bottle there, and I didn't want you to hear the tss when I open it up. Okay, right. Oh, 238, 29 up, so it's actually playing around about 248. We've got that wind with us as well. Oh, damn. I mean, I'm going to go for it. We're going to probably be over the back of the green here, I reckon. How big's that slope? That's not too bad. Oh, that's turned it quite a bit, actually. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 down the steps. And, oh, thank goodness for that. If I caught that path, that probably would have run right down. I actually thought that would have made that, you know. Okay, well, we've got 18 yards. Eight feet up, so it's playing around about 21. So we should be good with this 24. Yard flop, I reckon. Are you going to hold up for us? Come on. That's not too bad. We should still pick up the birdie. I got a bit lucky there, though, with that bounce. Nice. Get the birdie. Okay, hole six, 304 yards. Par four. I like the sort of muted colour of the fairways that he's got as well. It's not like the really bright, lush green. That's ah, one hell of a green complex. The water all the way around it there. Okay, two iron, two wood. Driver's going to be way too much. So we're going to go with two wood here. It should just get us right around the edge of the green, I reckon. I don't want to go to the left, definitely. Oh shit, mate, it's a fast. But tell you what, oh, it's not bad actually. That is not bad. Oh, nice. Ho 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 ho. Oh, I just rolled off onto the fringe. Now I think if I didn't hit it fast, I think it probably would still reach the green. All right, let's just, a little tap here. Just try and get it rolled down. Oh, I just missed as well. So we'll pick up the, is that par four? Yes, we'll pick up the par here. Uh, birdie, I should say. On for one, two par, birdie. Okay, oh, 796 yards, par three. <clears throat> That's really nice as well. Again, it's just so much grasses and bushes, uh, little plants and all that. Lovely rock work. And there's your, your sort of pizza shop over there as well. That is one stunning hole. Especially when you get to about here. Let me look at that. Okay, what well we got? 196. Got a bit of wind against this here. I don't want to go... Can't, oof, 196. I don't want to go too much up. I'm going to stick with the 5 iron, but I'm going to down loft it. Okay, this should definitely get on the green. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, hold up. Okay, we've well, got 11 feet, 4 inches are down. So just a little tap. Oh, is it missed? It's missed? It's missed? Oh, oh, in the back door. Just caught the lip, the side lip there, and went in the back door. Nice. Okay, hold 8. 377 yards, par 4. Okay, it takes a turn around to the right here. Pretty thin looking fairway as it comes up towards the green. Love that little dirt sort of path he's got going around the house there as well. Okay, so I think we are gonna... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now, I don't think we're gonna get over that big tree, so I think we are gonna drop this down to the two wood. Tell you what, maybe even the two iron. Yeah, I'm gonna just drop it down to the two iron here. That should be okay. A little bit of course management now, boys and girls. <laughs> that should give us a nice angle into the green from there. I didn't want to take too many chances because we're playing not too bad. 
That leaves us, what, 89? Two feet up, so it's about 90. So, if that wind, though, I'll let it go. There's not a lot of landing space there, so I might just go with a normal shot. Right, so full loft will give us 82. So I think maybe about there. Let's try that. Hope that's not too much off it. Oh yes, absolutely spot on. That'll do lovely. That should give us another nice birdie putt. Yeah, I could have tried to be greedy there. I could have went with the two-wood or tried to swing the drive around that tree, but I think just knocking the two-iron up there was, was, was the play. Again, <laughs> the amount of planning that he can do on each hole is just unbelievable. Okay, this one takes a turn round to the right here, over the water, towards the green. Okay, I think we didn't see this little water feature, this one. Right, I definitely want to come down this side. I think we've come down here. That tree might just get in the way, so it's pretty tight where we're going to land here. Oh, it's a slow. That's going to take it into the trees. Shit. Damn it. A bit of luck, it might hit off the tree. Oh, well placed bit of rough that. I took the chance going down the left hand side. And now you've got to carry water here. <clears throat> That's a part five. Oh, I could have just laid up short actually. Four I am, two I am, two wood. I don't think I'm not going to take the chance. I am going to put it over here, I reckon. Hopefully that's not going to be too far. Oh, sh no crap. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Oh, damn it. It's in the first cut, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, what we got? 103, 12 down, so it's playing around about 99. Not a bad lie there as well. 99, downhill. So I think I might just go with that. Just go with a full shot and let the wind help me out here a little bit. Put a little bit of loft on it though. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Oh, 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 I thought that caught a slope, that. Hopefully we'll still pick up the birdie. Oh, a nice straight putt as well. Oh, that's pacey. Oh, again, in the back door. So that is a very good front nine. Quite pleased with that. So that, that first hole, though, that was a terrible swing off the, the first tee. Okay, hole 10, 527 yards, par 4. So quite a lengthy par 4, this one. Looks like we've got a bit of a dog leg round to the left here. The two bunkers in the fairway. <clears throat> but we should miss them. It looks like there's plenty of room either side. Okay, let's aim towards this one. Let the wind just push it round that little bit to the left. Oh, that's nice. I like how he's went with the overcast sky as well. Okay, that's kind of went up a little slope here, so we're going to be left with a big right to left, I think. That's not too bad, actually. Right, what have we got? 208, 28 down, so it's oh, around about, what, 219? Ah, oh, no, no, no. 198, 199, right about that. Am I right? No, no, I'm not. 193. <laughs> ah, bloody hell. 194, 183. That wind. That might be okay. Let's try that. Yeah, my maths is terrible. Couldn't work that one out for some reason. Come on, go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was played superb. Just hit the 
fairway and rolled onto the green. Okay. Ah, no, I've missed them. Oh, no. I keep thinking I've missed them, but I get them. Nice. I actually thought that break was going to take, take that a lot more than it did. Hole 11, 547 yards, par 5. Again, got a dock leg round to the left here. Now can we cut this corner here with the two bunkers? Beautiful. Just as it pans around, you get a great view. Look at that. Again, the amount of planting, the rock work, the bushes, the trees, everything down here. I've got the different colours and all that as well. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Okay, we should be cool. Please put that tree lovely there. Nice position for that tree. So I don't want to go too far. And we'll run out there. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this down there too and just play it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> just past the corner here. But can we get one of the green too? I doubt it. I didn't want to go too far. And that tree there comes into play. It might still come in and play. Oh, do you know what? If I went with the driver, I think I'd probably go the other side of that tree. Well, in hindsight, this is, oh, I mean, when you, you can play a course more than once, you kind of figure out where to go. Okay, 251, 30 up. Do you know what? I think we should be good here. Just aim a little bit over that side. We'll definitely get over. If we go on the green, there's a bone. Oh, yes, nice. Now, come on. I hit this slope. Come back, come back, come back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is it going to come back? Oh, it's going to stay up there. Damn it. That's going to be quite a tricky putt downhill here, I think. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. I thought it'd be a lot more. Uh, mind you, if you look to my left there, uh, I thought I was up on that kind of slope, but no, it's not bad. Okay, 22 feet, one foot down. <sighs> Doesn't look like one foot down though, so this is just going to be a little tap. Oh, it's not going to make it. But we're on for two, that was three, so we're going to pick up the birdie anyway, so that's not too bad. Didn't want to be too um, over hit that, especially with the one foot down, even though it didn't look like one foot down. Okay, hole 12, 206 yards, par 3. Looks like we might have a tough little landing area here. I can see some red around the edges. You've got a fall off on every sort of side here. Okay, right, what have we got? 203, 19 down, so it's playing round about 198. 194, should get us on the edge of the green here. Put some loft on it. Oh, I kind of pushed that to the right. Better luck, it might kick on to the left, though. Uh, to the right, uh, to the left. <laughs> right, left, right, left. That's not bad. We're on the green. Hopefully, we'll pick up the par. Get it close, pick up the par. <clears throat> oh, tough part of this one. I have to aim it right over here. 31 feet, 4 inches down. Oh, there's that floating ball there. Did you see it? And there's another one. I hope this will sort out. It just kind of lifts up and goes straight for like 50% of the putt. I call it a levitating shit ball. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I talking when I took that putt? Damn it. That's a bogey. Ah, got blemish on the card. Right, hole 13, 517 yards, par 4. Again, love the, 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 the way the, that sort of hillside with the, the houses and the sort of big sort of, what are they? They're not castles, are they? Sort of big manor houses up there on the hill. Beautiful looking hole again now. Right, what's this, par 4? Quite a lengthy one. I can probably get away with going down now, uh, that 8 mile an hour wind. So we're just going to aim it down this side, I think. Ah, oh, 
HB, what are you doing to me? Bloody hell. <laughs> they, they better sort that out for PGA Tour take 21. They really do need to. But we got away with that. <clears throat> Again, as I've always said, if you play this game enough, you can tell exactly if you've hit a fast, if you've hit a slow. And that was one of HB's infamous. We can't recreate it. We can't see the problem. Right. Well, we've got 230 up, so it's playing around like 210. 225 is way too much. So I'm going to have to drop this short and just go for the par, I reckon. Oh, I don't really want to go on the green here, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to down loft as much as I can. And that is going to leave us... Come on. Oh, tell you what. Can you get up there? Up the slope? Oh, t oh, that has actually worked out a lot better. I thought we were going to leave ourselves a good, I don't know, 20, 30 foot putt there. But that worked out not too bad. Okay, 18 feet, 6 inches up. Oh, that's not bad. We'll take the par from there, especially with that first swing. I was quite lucky to get away with a par on this hole, I think. K-hole 1,468 yards. Oh, look at that. Par 3. <laughs> rock work is absolutely fantastic. It's all little rocks as well. Little tiny rocks. All just layered up on top of each other. Okay, the wind's coming in at 8 mile an hour across. 174, 12 down. So it's playing 170. 160. And will that get us up? I think we'll go with this. don't know if that's too much. I don't think so. It should be okay. It's turning nice. It depends on distance out. Oh yeah, just a little bit too much. Probably should have just dropped, dropped that club there and went with that. Okay, little chip. And we'll pick up the par. I say every time he drops a course, I think he outdoes himself every time he does another course. This one is absolutely beautiful. I really, really like this one. Okay, hole 15, 575 yards, a par 5. Okay, it takes a turn around to the right here. Hopefully we can get past this bunker by the tree to the left of it. 575, though, depend on the wind. Okay, it's downhill to the green. And get over there. I'm going to get a good roll down. That's nice. Love the contours as well. <clears throat> okay, two iron. Oh, we might actually just get up, up, up over here, actually. So we'll aim it towards the tree here. And that wind should just push it past it, I think. Oh, no. Get through the tree. Oh, just got through the tree there. But look how much distance that took off 271 yards but we're still going to reach the green I think because of this downhill tell you what you know what I'm gonna put just a little bit of draw on it counteract that wind oh you shitting me HB come on Oh, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. That is insane. That is insane. What a bounce. Okay, 18 feet. Oh, get in there. Get in there. That was so lucky. And we picks up the eagle. Oh, 16. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's ah, got to be one of the best golf holes I have seen. There's one more, one other golf course that I think had the most 
amazing first hole on it and it was Sindrev's course and I always thought that, <clears throat> that was the best golf hole I've ever seen and that was um, the Congo the, the, the first hole on that was absolutely freaking amazing so if you've not played that now that wasn't TGC 2 you had to take a lot off for TGC 2019 because you couldn't actually get all the planting done it. but that first hole of Sindrev's course was just absolutely stunning but this one this is probably one of the best golf holes I've seen in this game. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Ah, my neck. Don't know how he does it. Really don't. So what hole is that? That's hole 16. Absolutely stunning. Right. 198. 7 up, so it's playing around about 200. We're going to go up to 203. That wind is going to help us here. Come on, we're oh, on the green. Oh, don't go too far. Don't hit that slope. That's okay. It's, it's stuck. So we've got a chance at a putt, chance at an eagle. <clears throat> but just try and get a, oh no, it's a par four. Bloody hell, I thought that was a par five because I've been shooting in there with a, a long iron. Right, 24 feet, four inches are down. Oh, it's going a little bit to the right. Okay, now hold up there. Oh, that's gone past quite a bit. Damn. Okay, come on. Ah, nice. We get the save. Okay, hole 17. 227. Oh, 227 yards. Par 3. Look at that. Jesus, look at it. Look, what a view. That rock work down the side of the, the hillside, the mountain there. Absolutely amazing with all the grasses and that over the top of it. So natural looking. Okay, we've got here 237, 31 down. So it's playing around about 240, 247. 225, no, 227, should I say. Some neck. Get it right. Oh, now that's going to be way too much. That's going to take us right over the back. But that's not enough. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to down loft and hopefully it bounces off the hill. Oh, pushed it. But again, it's going to kick to the left when it lands. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, going to leave it a hell of a putt though. Oh, look at that big contour here to the right. I'm going to have to go up and over that, I think. No, no, it's still going. Come on. Right, that's not too bad. Just try and get this close and get the par. Let's have a look. Everyone's going left to right until sort of halfway up. Right, what we've got? 51 feet, 3 inches up. Oh, that's nicely judged distance. I'll take that any day. That's going to give us the part. <clears throat> okay, hole 18, 469 yards. Par 4. Again, that rock right, absolutely fantastic. Love the neck. Beautiful finishing hole. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Let's just smash one right down here, hopefully. Get a good one. Yeah, we do. Nice. <clears throat> uh, looks a little bit to the right. If it does hit the rough, it should kick in. Oh, no. No. Son of a... I wanted to have a good finish there. Okay, 83.9%, 148, 32 up, so it's playing around about 160. So I'm going to go up. I've got about three clubs here. That might be too much. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> ah, and that was not HB's fault. That was all me that time. 
I do own up when I do it. And I can tell straight away that that was me. <laughs> it just pisses me off when it's not me. Right, what have we got here? 18 yards. Let's drop it down to... When I'm this far, I used to drop it down maybe two or three clubs. Because you still got a huge run on it. Oh shit. Wait, stop. I could have dropped that down another club, I think. Okay. We're gonna get this, we're gonna get the save. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. So that's gonna be a bogey on the last hole. That's a shame. I'd like to have hit a nice par or a birdie on the last hole there. But that is one of his best. That was absolutely fantastic. That was an absolutely beautiful golf course. Minus nine. Two blemishes there. Uh, two birdies, uh, two bogeys. But we've got the eagle. Uh, a few wayward HB random shots was thrown in there. But we did get a couple of lucky bounces, I must admit. But that is an absolutely beautiful, stunning course. That's Umbria Golf Club Italy. And that's by Mr. Arctic Fury. What a job. And hole 16, one of the best looking holes in the game at the moment. Absolutely amazing. Great job. Give it a play, guys. And don't forget to play the content. Hit that like button. I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching and stay safe.